Hello, happy Metaphysical Monday. Thanks for showing up. So today we're gonna talk about five crystals for Scorpio. So we're in our series of Monday videos where we're talking about crystals for specific zodiac signs. Um, we're gonna move on to Scorpio. And before I start, and I say this I think maybe in a couple of the videos, but really whatever stone or crystal you're drawn to is what you need to be working with. So um, these are just some stones that I found that work well with the typical qualities of a Scorpio. So um, let's get started. All right, so the first one I have is blue calcite. This actually, this is blue calcite heart. This actually um, was one of the first stones I got that, um, I don't know, it just called to me and I was like, why the hell do I want this stone so bad? Um, it was just really pretty and it's a little, it's actually faded some over time, um, probably because I'm not working with it a whole lot, um, but it was a little bit more blue, but it is a, a light blue calcite is a very opaque. So um, it's not like see-through crystal like an amethyst or something like a quartz. Um, it is opaque, so it kind of has some white, um, you just can't see through it. You know what opaque means, right? So for blue calcite with Scorpio, Scorpio is a water sign. Um, so a blue stone makes sense because of the water. Um, but for Scorpio specifically, it, it alleviates stress and anxiety. Typically light blue stones are very calming. Um, but uh, Scorpios tend to get a little bit like kind of fired up a little bit um, and can kind of get anxious. So blue calcite helps with calming that, um, de-stressing and um, relieving anxiety and also fears. So um, if you are a Scorpio or you know a Scorpio who tends to get wrapped up in kind of maybe not even paranoia, but like I guess it would just go back to anxiety again, um, but if there's something that's fear-based, it um, it can help with dispelling those fears, okay? So blue calcite. Next I have pyrite. Pyrite is, um, this grows actually in cubes. I'm gonna see how well it'll focus. Ooh, not bad. This one's like super glittery looking. That grows in cubes, you can kind of see that in there. It is kind of a metallic uh, fool's gold, it's been called. This one's actually kind of rounded on one side. I have another piece that's more um, raw. One of these days, I'm just gonna get a cube, like a natural huge hunk of cube, you know, like of pyrite. Um, pyrite is uh, great for promoting positive ways to channel willpower. And um, it kind of helps um, with manifestation um, it's definitely a like a lucky stone um, and can help bring in um, money and that kind of stuff um, but really if you go back to basics we can talk about uh, manifestation and how pyrite can help um, bring forth your manifestations so for Scorpios who have a pretty strong willpower um, it can help kind of transmute and transfer that willpower into something tangible. Okay, so pyrite is great for kind of channeling or funneling that willpower, that um, wanting to get stuff done that Scorpio can have and kind of um, putting it into true form, into something you can see, feel, touch, taste, whatever. Um, so pyrite is great for channeling that willpower. Um, the next one I have is unikite or unikite. Um, doesn't matter how you say it. This is actually a raw piece. It is green and kind of a corally pink color. And then I have my little bunny that I got from Sage Goddess. That's so cute. I think I have a picture of this guy and his little brother on Instagram, but, um, Unikite or Unikite, um, that is good for um, releasing things that are kind of trapped in your heart. Unikite or Unikite, I, I can never decide how I want to say it, so I'm just going to say it both ways every time. Um, it connects to the heart, heart chakra with its green color and pink. Pink and green are both associated with the heart chakra. So it can help kind of release things that are trapped in the heart, in, in your heart space. Um, 
It, it's for for healing purposes, of course, um, but also physically with your heart. If there is like a heart issue, um, then that can help heal that as well. So um, things having to do with the heart, releasing things that you're kind of holding on to um, that are not serving you, but you can't seem to let it go because it's just so much in your heart. Um, great for that as well. Um, which I think Scorpio can have a little bit of a thing with not really holding a grudge necessarily, but being kind of emotionally attached, being a water sign, being emotionally attached to things that really aren't good for you anymore. That that's definitely a Scorpio trait that um, this can kind of help with. So next is another heart chakra stone. This is Malachite. This is the only piece of Malachite I have. Um, malachite is easily faked. Okay, so um, if you see malachite that has any black in it, it is not malachite. It's probably clay. But um, malachite is commonly, I mean, I've even seen some YouTube videos showing how to make fake malachite out of clay, out of polymer, polymer clay. But um, this is my malachite. Um, malachite is great for releasing toxins, especially from your heart, like I said. Um, it can also help prevent you from taking things personally. Um, if you know a Scorpio, Scorpios tend to kind of take everything to heart, right? This helps kind of not really block it, but it, I, the way I see it, the way it's being shown to me right now is as a filter. It filters things that you take into your heart. That way um, you don't end up needing the unikite, unikite to um, kind of release anything that gets trapped in there because malachite will kind of serve as a filter to only allow the good things in and kind of help you not take things so personally. Um, so that's malachite, great for Scorpio. The last one I have, number five, is hematite, which I've heard pronounced hematite a couple of times and I was like, what? but I've always said hematite. Um, you can get, like, they have this all over the place. Um, basically any kind of like gift shop or something like that, or uh, not gift shop, but like um, where you can get souvenirs, a souvenir shop. Um, they have like the magnetic jewelry that's made out of hematite. Hematite, um, sometimes I think, and I could be completely wrong on this. I am not a geologist. I think sometimes it naturally occurs magnetic. And I think it, I could be wrong about that. And I think maybe it has to be treated to become magnetic, but it's not naturally magnetic. These are not sticking together. Um, for Scorpio, it encourages being present and in the moment. It's a great grounding stone. So um, it's it helps Scorpio ground and center, which any grounding stone, and I feel like every single one of these videos, I'm gonna have to look back. I think every single one of these videos, there was some type of stone that was good for grounding because Everyone needs grounding, okay? We live in a world where everything is fast paced, gotta be first, gotta be, gotta have the coolest shit, gotta have the newest gadget. Like, that is like society as a whole is ungrounded if you ask me. So I think almost every video, if not all of them so far, have had a grounding stone in them. Um, grounding is so important. Get your feet on the ground, literally. I mean, electrical currents require grounding, okay? So there's, everything is energy. Think of it this way, compare it to an electrical current, what is driving your TV or your phone right now, um, or your computer, laptop, whatever. That energy is the same energy that we are made of. We are made of energy. The device you're watching this video on is made of energy. Everything is made of energy. Your chair, your couch, your bed, your car, everything is made of energy. Um, and a lot of it uses electrical energy. And the electrical energy needs to have a ground, okay? So um, it prevents arcing. And I feel like society is just arcing all over the place and everybody's ungrounded. And um, again, not an electrician, so I could have like some things out of whack there. But for the purposes of this argument, electricity needs grounding as well. And you are made of electricity. You are electrons, protons, neutrons, and whatever other trons that there are. <laughs> um, you require grounding too. And if you don't get out in nature enough, if you don't put your hands in some dirt, walk around barefoot, those are great ways to get grounded too. But this also helps you connect to 
Mother Earth, which helps ground you, grounds your literal electrical current flowing through your body, keeps you out of your head and more present and in the moment. For Scorpio specifically, I would say this would help with um, any type of tendency to be judgmental. So if um, you know a judgy kind of Scorpio energy, um, then this would be a great stone for them. Um, do I have this necklace right here? I don't think it's in this room. Um, I have um, a necklace that I made that has a little lotus on it. I've worn it in some of the other videos. I have it paired with garnet um, just for uh, kind of like personal power. Um, but yes, very grounding, very staying present in the moment and um, not comparing yourself to others, not judging others for what they do and staying kind of out of your head a little bit too. So um, great stone for Scorpio for grounding um, and uh, my little mini lesson on grounding as well. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, uh, the next one is going to be Sagittarius and we're going to talk about that next Monday. If you're interested in the other signs that I've already done, I think I started with Aries. I could totally, be, I might've started with Cancer because I started this in Cancer season. Um, but if you're interested in any of the signs that I've already done, the Metaphysical Monday playlist is in the description box below. So that will have the link to um, the playlist that has all of these videos. And if you want, if I haven't done your sign yet or your partner's sign or what have you, um, definitely hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications. I also do, um, I, I, I'm going to intersperse my zodiac sign readings with some pick a card readings because I feel like the pick a card readings are pretty fun too. Um, I also have some really cool um, kind of like hot topic kind of readings that I'm going to do. So um, you might be interested in that. So if you are, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and as always, have a blessed day.